Hey guys, it's Nar from Tata Soul. Today I want to show you a few leaves technique. We're going to start with back stitch. You just start with a simple stitch. Just go up and then down again. And then every other stitch you make from now on, you stitch a step ahead and then you come back to where the last stitch ended. This is why it's called back stitch. <laughs> By the way, you can find this pattern and many others plants, embroidery patterns and embroidery kit at my shop. You can go check them out right now, the link is in the description box. Now I want to show you how to do a fishbone leaf. This is my favorite one because it really gives a nice texture, um, a really like a natural texture to a leaf. We're going to start with the stem uh, using backstitch, just like we did before, you go up and then down again. And after the first stitch, you start by taking a step forward and then go back down from where the last stitch ended. We're going to keep doing that to the whole stem and then add the leaves. Now we're going to do the fishbone leaf. So you start with a simple stitch across the leaf. You can also take it only halfway down and then make stitches from the outline to the center of the leaf that cross the line you created at first. You stitch from different sides each time while you go over the last stitches you created. Now we're going to stitch the shapes of the leaves with satin stitch. We're going to fill the shapes, but we're going to start again with back stitching the stem like the last leaf we did. And now we're going to start with the leaves themselves. So you make a stitch across the leaf and then you fill it with satin stitch. You just go from one side to the other, filling the shape as you go. I've mentioned it in the info bubble before, um, you can stitch the stem with a thinner thread to create um, a more interesting um, design. Um, the thread comes with six strands usually, and you can just separate and pull away the strands. Here I think I'm using two, maybe three. Uh, you can also stitch this whole pattern just as is with the six strands. It will look just as beautiful. Now I want to show you another element, it's called a lazy daisy technique. Um, it's very easy to make, but first we're going to start with backstitching the stem like the last leaf we did. Again, you can use thinner thread if you want. And now we're going to do the lazy daisy leaf. So you take your needle up from the base of the leaf and go back down again, very close to the exit point, but not the same point, and leave an inch of thread loose. Then go up from the top of the leaf and then go under the loop you created and pull. Finish the stitch by going down again over the round part of the leaf.
Okay, guys, so we're done with the leaves. Uh, I finished the whole greenery uh, to show you how beautiful it can be. And now I want to quickly show you how to do the text. I'm going to do a full video about it, so you can check it out in the description box. But in short, what we're going to do is to use set and stitch to fill the text. You can use thinner thread or small stitches where the shape is curved. And again, you are more than welcome to check out my next video about the text, how to fill text using set and stitch. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can find this pattern as a kit or a PDF a file in my uh, shop and I will see you guys in the next video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials thank you so much bye